Welcome back. We're excited to have with us today an African who has helped change the world. He's one of four original innovators and developers of fiber optics technology. The use of thin, flexible fibers of glass or other transparent solids to transmit light signals, chiefly for telecommunications or for internal examination of the body. His name is Thomas Mensah, and he's a native of Ghana. Mr. Mensah, welcome to Africa 54 once again. Thank you, Vincent. Yeah. Yes. I'm excited to be here. Yes. Congratulations. I have to first congrat congratulate you for having been honored and inducted to, into the National Academy of Inventors. Tell us about that and uh, how you happen to be one of the two or three. Yeah, uh, basically there were 167 inventors recognized. Yeah. And out of the 167, there were only three blacks, and I was among the three. Yeah. And these are guys who control like 14,000 patents in all areas of technology in the United States. Yeah. You know, from medicine to space to telecom or the internet in yeah. my case. And so th that's a very, very uh, high elite people. Yeah. Uh, in fact, uh, I was recognized alongside uh, uh, one of the best well-known energy secretaries. Yeah. You know, Dr. Stephen Chu, who's a Nobel Prize winner. Great. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you're in town also because you're hanging out with some other brainy chaps like you. Well, uh, <laughs> this month, September, yes. as you know, is, 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 is really very, very important because you got the UN General Assembly going on in New York. And then in, in D.C., you have the, uh, the Black Caucus, which is the Congressional Black Caucus Legislative Weekend. Yeah. That brings together all you know great minds, yeah. and so I was invited, uh, you know, to be part of it. Yeah. And President Obama will be speaking yeah. uh, during the Phoenix Award yeah. on Saturday night. That's great. Yeah. Now a little bit, you know, I always say every time we mention nanotechnology, it can sound abstract to some of our viewers. Just can you break it down to a common man's language, or at least a level of uh, uh, comprehension in terms of its practical use as we are using it today? Well, nanotechnology, just like we use, you know, we, we develop fiber optics that has changed the world. We think nanotechnology is going to take us to the next uh, economy, particularly the United States and the world. Mm -hmm. And I am the chief editor, editor-in-chief of a book of Frontiers, of nanotechnology. Yeah. No. But nanotechnology basically is really the technology of very, very tiny or small things. Mm -hmm. Very, very and, small. And we're able to use them in places we sometimes don't realize. Now, an example of uh, fiber optics is what? Just give an example of what somebody can relate with who is watching us. Oh, in fiber optics? In fiber optics. Okay. No, fiber optics, as you know, basically is the ability to use laser pulses and laser-based optical cables to send data, just like Google search information or Facebook pictures, to send it distances so that you can send your Facebook picture to Kenya, your Facebook picture to China. And that has given rise to Google, Facebook, Twitter, and all that. Without fiber optics, you cannot send anything. Yeah. You take a picture, it stays in your phone. So we developed the technology. Uh, there are four of us that did it. And I'm the only black among the four, mm -hmm. which means you can sit here and tweet and send information. But the information is traveling at the speed of light because you're using laser pulses to send the data or to send the pictures or to send a YouTube video that people are watching now. I mean, I'm sitting with a gentleman who has made it possible for me to send this kind of information to people across the world. Exactly. There are, there are a billion people connected to the internet because of fiber optics. Yeah, and because of you and three other guys. Yes. So what's the next move? Well, right now, uh, I'm looking at two things. The next innovation is nanotechnology, and I'll speak about that. But at the moment, I have a, I have a strong passion that places that don't have the internet need the internet. They need to be connected to the global village, which is the World Wide Web particularly Africa, and I'm from there, yeah. and therefore I want to push internet connectivity in Africa. We want to move from 5% penetration rate, you know, U.S. is 90, 
So 5% is really low. Yeah. And the, the, reason, the reason is you don't have fiber optic cables or cell towers set up in all those. Some places, like you mentioned earlier, are using even satellite. Yeah. You know, satellite, you see when you're talking to somebody, you have delays. It's a delay. Fiber optics, you don't have delays. Oh, okay. Things are sent in seconds. Okay, so we expect, of course, uh, many more changes in the world because of you and your friends. Thanks a lot uh, for sharing that with us, and we hope to see you back here to tell us more about your inventions. Well, um, Thomas Mensah is one of four original innovators and developers of fiber optics technology.